Lord have mercy, this thing is grody. Today we're cleaning some carburetors. So this is off of a 67 or 68 Beetle, I'm not sure. And buddy of mine, I told him I'd rebuild it for him. Because I want him to hurry up and get the thing on the road. It's way cooler than my Beetle is. So, and he does me lots of favors. So I'm going to clean this thing today. It'll be later today, but I'm going to go ahead and give it an initial spraying. And uh, we'll start tinkering and taking it apart later. So there's probably already a hundred thousand carburetor rebuild videos on the internet. But I figured, what the heck, I might as well time lapse this one. I'm going to show some of my students how to rebuild one. A couple of guys are interested, so... Crazy brittle, brittle gasket. The bowl is surprisingly not that bad, which is nice. So we're just gonna keep taking it apart and once we get it all broken down, spray everything. So it's actually not near as dirty on the inside as it was on the outside, so they must have must have let it dry out before storing it. Got all kind of goodies in our fresh carb rebuild kit from Amazon. So we're gonna take everything apart, spray it out real good, put it all back together, call it a day. So we just took this off to look at the diaphragm, and it's pretty well gone and grody. So, of course the, the kit comes with a new one, so that's good. We're going to take the thermostat off, so uh, or the electronic choke, and replace that before we continue to clean. Never pour excess carburetor cleaner in a plastic cup. I guess I should already knew that, but it made a nice science experiment. Colin's cleaning the stew out of the carburetor bit that we got undone so far. About to clean out this jet. Tyler's over there hiding from the camera, but she's helping out a little bit here and there, but mostly just annoying. So this old assortment of mess. Colin's finished cleaning up that one. We're about to put it back together. My phone's about to die, but pretty much put everything back where you took it from. It's a short bit. You all have air almost every one of my videos. So my phone's still about to die, but as soon as it's left, so all my help's gone. But I know with all these bits, it's a bit intimidating. And I don't have them all labeled this time, but the first time first couple times I ever did this and when I rebuild something that's a new carburetor something I've never done before I like to take it apart and lay the bits out and every piece that I take out I'll try to look at the directions or just kind of label it whatever I think it is and lay the bits out do I have to know what every one of these parts do for this carburetor to rebuild it no because a lot of times you're getting new parts or you just replace the old ones that came out um, but anywhere that fuel or air may go you want to spray out and clean. See, like this bowl, I still need to try to get a little bit cleaned out, but for the most part, that's not too bad. But just spray your carb cleaner. Um, don't have to get anything expensive or fancy. Um, just spray it through everywhere that any type of fluid or air may travel through. Once you get everything cleaned out, I've never really had anything so bad. I did have to use this little thin wire for one piece, but for the most part, everything's going to going to work out fine. 
Um, they do sell, you know, compressed air kits where you can put it up there and blow through it. And they sell the buckets of, of carb cleaner. You can take this, all the bits off and throw it in there and get it crazy clean. But, you know, this, is, this isn't going on a show car. We're just wanting to get it going down the road. And so, about to put it back together. Try not to ramble for too long. And, um, pretty much the only part that I'm worried about is this kind of all popped out really quickly. But, eh, I don't think there's going to be too much to it. Going back together nicely. Got that diaphragm back in. Got that off. Make a custom screwdriver because I didn't have a small one. So this was broken at some point in its life. And became a flathead. So time to put all the jets and everything back in. I didn't clean that corrosion off. You're like, what a douche. But it gives it so much character. So before this thing dies, one thing I forgot that was really important is when you go to take out your fuel to air mixture screw, you want to take and however many turns you turn it out, write it down. That way you can put it back in the same. You know, it still may take some adjusting afterwards, but at least there you've got a good place to start close to what it was originally. Um, I'm going to finish this up. Nikki made me stop and call some kind of radio show, and I entered Eminem's new album, or one Eminem's new album. I don't know. I didn't know he made a new album. But anyways, and also entered to win a beach trip or something. But I'm going to try to finish getting this thing back together so I can go home. And then we got to work on Nikki's Beetle. So, till then. Also, while I'm thinking about it, when I took this thing off, this was hanging from one of the screws going in here. And so, I don't know what its function was. I'm not going to put it back and then... When we get this thing on, if it doesn't work right, we'll try to figure out what its purpose was. Also, i got to figure out how to set this thing a little bit better. Um, I just got it back together, and it didn't seem right, but I'll Google that. So me and Nicky are heading over to my buddy Dana's. We got his carb done. My phone died, so I didn't get to show it all put back together. I messed up and told him I was bringing it. Could have, like, got his shock face. I'm just kidding. Or surprise face. But anyways, he's got a... He picked up a new engine. I don't know if it's a Volkswagen engine or what, but... I'm assuming it is, so I'm a, I want to check that out while I'm here and kind of talk to him about some parts. I want to get his beetle on the road so I can get my beetle on the road and go cruising, etc. Go beetle cruising. Why are you laughing? Andersonville beetle cruisers. Beetle cruisers. Start your own the A Cruiser Club. Hey. All right. Well, we'll holler at you when we get there. Come bearing carburetors. Turn of winter. Yeah. yeah. Told Dana I need more friends like his friends. He just got all of this miscellaneous bug goodness for for the free. So if you like watching unknowledgeable people tinker on things, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There'll be plenty more bug goodness coming. Um, plenty more homesteading stuff coming. Uh, pretty soon it's about time to start seeds for spring. So a few videos on that. And uh Got a bunch of stuff on order plants wise, so we'll be getting all that stuff in. Hopefully be showing off our little urban homestead a little bit more in some of our upcoming videos. Mainly just been tinkering with bugs. Um, but if you like any of those sorts of things, be sure to subscribe. I need like a thousand of them, and uh, it's slow moving right now. It won't hurt you. Just click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you dislike it. I don't care. But this has been tinkering. What am I saying? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Why are you still watching? Oh, click on one of these videos. I'll put them there at some point. Click subscribe. It'll be right here. I don't know that for sure.